Recently, I reviewed this outdoor blanket from the company Rumpel. Well, now I have another outdoor blanket. This one is the Thermagic from the company Olife. If you're interested in hearing more about this blanket and how it compares against the Rumpel, keep watching. All right, just before we begin, I want to thank the company Obi for sending me this Thermagic blanket from Olife so that I could share it with you. And just in case you aren't aware yet, Obi and Olife are divisions of Olite, the famous maker of flashlights. Now, Obi has a number of products from a number of different manufacturers, but they do have a few of their own, which Olife being one of them. Okay, so what I thought I would do is take this down to the the tabletop where I'll go over some of the specifications for this blanket. I'll open it up out of its package of course and go over some detail and give you some better close-ups of the blanket and then we're going to bring the rumple back into the picture so we can do some comparisons and you may ask of course why am I comparing it against the rumple? Well the biggest reason is price. This is a much less expensive blanket but the question is does it compare in quality and is it something you may want to consider? All right let's get started. All right, just before I take the Thermajig out of its stuff sack, I wanted to go over its key features and specifications, but of course I'll list all of that information in the video description below for your reference. And the other thing I wanted to do is just to give you a bit of a size comparison between the Thermajig and the Rumpel. This is the Rumpel Classic, of course. And just to get an idea of the comparison for the two of them. Now, I'm not going to go over all the specifications for the Rumpel because I did that in a quite a bit of detail in the review of it and I'll link that video at the end of this one if you want to go back for more information but here is what I wanted to show you and that is the size difference so you can see the rumple is a bit bigger than the thermajig and that's also reflected in its weight whereas the rumple comes in at 2.1 pounds or an even one kilogram the thermajig comes in at 25.6 ounces or 725 grams so it is about 25 percent lighter in weight than the rumple. All right, let's just take the rumple and put it aside. So key features. So what's interesting is how much similarity they are between this one and the rumple. So to begin with this, the installation is made from 100% post-consumer recycled polyester fibers, basically water bottles. So used water bottles and different plastics that have been shredded and remade into an insulation. So that's great for uh, the environment. Now, the other thing is this has a durable water repellent or DWR coating on the outside. And I did test it as I did with the Rumpel by pouring a glass of water over it and the water does run right off. I don't know how long it will last, but uh, I guess if you really want it to be a waterproof Blanket, you could always reapply some type of coating at a later point. Uh, yeah, so there are a number of different things that this blanket has that are very similar. And one of the things I like about it is they are machine washable. Now they do recommend you put it in a mesh laundry bag because of the size of them, but you can wash this blanket if it does in fact get dirty. All right, let's just go over the dimensions and I will take it out to show you just how big it is so you can get a, a, an image of it that way. But this comes in at uh, 79 inches long and 55 inches wide, which is 200 centimeters by 140 centimeters. You can see the pack size and roughly, and, and this is, of course is going to be just rough because it is a dry bag style, so you can kind of compress it down even further. But it comes in at about 6.7 inches in diameter and about 14.6 inches high. Um, like I said, it weighs 25.6 ounces, 725 grams. The shell material is made from 380T polyester and the lining inside is 20D nylon. And as I mentioned, it is 100% recycled polyester. Okay, let's take it out of the bag and then I'll hold it up and go over some of the features on the blanket itself. All right, so you can see that the uh, Thermajig fits into this stuff sack quite nicely, and it's actually not too hard to get back in, and there's actually even more room. I could want it to compress it a little bit more, I could, but I, I don't see the need to. So let's just take it out of its stuff sack. Comes out very nicely. Um, there are two different versions of this blanket in terms of the pattern and colors, and this one is Desert Sunset, 
I forget the other one is Ocean Something. <laughs> and uh, I'll put links, of course, to them so you can see the two different ones. But this is the one I requested and they did send to me. And uh, yeah, why don't I do exactly that? Let's see if I can hold this up so that you can get a good look at the blanket itself. I'm not sure how well that's showing up because, of course, I can't quite see what you're seeing. But it is a... Uh, gray, a gray color that fades into a gold color. Maybe that's the best way to say it. So one end, it is pretty much black, fading into gold and gray on the other end. And like the, the rumple, the stitching is not square blocked. It's kind of curved and follows in different patterns just for a bit of attractiveness. It doesn't in any way change the performance of the blanket. And the inside of the blanket is gray, just a straight up gray material. So what do I want to show you here? All right, so these are where things compare against the uh, rumple. To start with, it does have loops on all four corners of the blanket, just a nice little grogain type of a ribbon loop. And uh, that's a little bit different from the rumple in where it has a bit of a cord type of a loop on each of the corners. The Blanket itself has a bead right around the outside, identical to the rumple in every way that I can see. The label, of course. Now, what I'm looking for here, well, there is the Olaf symbol if you have an interest. All right, so here's the other thing. So it does have a cape clip, it very much like the one from uh, Rumple. In fact, I think I like this one a little bit better, and you will recall if you watched the other video, <clears throat> where I mentioned I found that the cape clip on the rumple was a, a little bit fiddly because you had to feed it through a loop on one side of the blanket. This one you don't, it still has a small lock right here. Let me just throw it on so you can see this on me. And it makes it much easier to bring the two of them together right here. And uh, yeah, so it's easier to put together and easier to undo. At least I find it is than it is on the rumple. Not that there's anything wrong with the rumple. It's certainly not a deal breaker. It's just that this is just a tiny bit easier. Is it as strong or stronger? I don't know. Only time will tell. I think that depends on how careful you are when you have this on. All right, so you can see that uh, how the blanket goes. I don't want to cover the microphone up with it, but you can see how you would wrap yourself up in very much identical to the rumple. Now, a couple things that are different between this blanket and the rumple. One is because the weight is 25% lighter, that means you're getting 25% less insulation. Now, I can feel when I bring the two of them together that this is a little bit thinner but not that much. We're talking 25% insulation over the entire size of it. There is a noticeable difference when you compare them side by side, but otherwise when you're holding on to them, you really can't tell. Uh, what else is different between the two of them? Well, the material itself, while they both have exactly the same feel and softness, one of the things I've noticed was that on the rumple, they're using a ripstop type of a nylon. Very, very fine, very small, less than a sixteenth of an inch kind of a uh, cross pattern in the ripstop material. This one does not. It does not have that ripstop material. So this would be a little bit less expensive. I'm presuming that there is a cost savings in not using that ripstop. Um, and that's where the differences basically lie. From everything else I can see, these two blankets have very, very much in common. The quality of construction of this Olife blanket is right on par with the rumple, which it in itself is a very high quality construction. The materials seem to be uh, very close in nature and with a little bit less in this blanket, less insulation in this blanket than is the other one. Uh, one more thing that is different between the two of them is this blanket, the Thermajig, is a little bit bigger. Now, we're not talking a lot. We're talking like about two inches in each direction, but it is just that tiny bit bigger. I don't know if it's enough to make a, a decision over which one is better that way, but if you do for some reason feel you need that slightly larger blanket, well, this may be the choice. 
Um, so let me tell you my experiences with this. So I, I did have it out on one hike, just one hike, because I wanted to take it out and make sure that I would enjoy using it out on hiking. And I do. It really is a nice blanket. In fact, I really couldn't tell the difference between this and the Rumpel. They're both equally uh, effective as far as that goes, equally comfortable. They are synthetic blankets, so you do have to be careful when you're using them out in the woods for a couple of reasons. The most obvious is they're not going to resist sparks. The, you know, they, a, a spark from a wood fire is going to go right through it. And the other thing is don't catch it on anything sharp like branches or anything else. So I wouldn't call them anywhere near as durable as a wool blanket when you're out in the woods, but uh, they're a lot lighter and they're warm. They actually are very warm. Now, here's the other thing that I have been doing with this blanket, mostly here at home. And that is, you saw me wearing it as a cape. Well, you know, it's kind of nice if you're sitting around watching television in the evening and the house is cooling off because you're getting ready to go to bed and you just want to throw a blanket over yourself, then uh, yeah, why not? Sure, this is something you can wear in that cape faction. And here's the other way that I have been wearing it. Over the top of me like this, hopefully I'm not canceling out the microphone too badly, but wearing it like this and then sitting in the chair, and I used this when I was out in the woods as well and did the same thing sitting in the hammock chair, is this is a great way to stay covered up from the front so you don't have to keep your arms wrapped around you. And uh, yeah, so this works out really, really quite well. Now, you can do exactly the same thing with this blanket that I talked about doing with the Rumpel, and that is with the corner loops, you could do a couple things. One is you could, yes, hang it and so that you've got a bit of a windbreak and use it as a bit of a tarp. Lay it out like a picnic blanket and stake it down so it doesn't blow away in the wind. But what I like about this is you can take the two corners on the long end and just use a little bit of gutted paracord or something else to tie them together, and then you can Put, put this over top of your sleeping bag and have less of a chance of it sliding off in the middle of the night like often things that are nylon do. It's not a top quilt, but it kind of will add to the any sleeping bag or top quilt if you're looking for that extra layer of insulation. But uh, yeah, that's more of a discussion about how you would use these blankets, which we did with the Rumpel video. Okay, so here's my thoughts on this blanket. I love it. I love it. I like the color of it, which is, you know, I know secondary to performance, but it is a thing when you're looking at something and you want to buy it, you, you want to be able to look at it and say you enjoy using it for a variety of reasons and not just the functionality. I think it is a good looking blanket. The other blanket, the other choice was equally good looking for someone who would prefer those colors. Yeah, it is a really nice blanket. So what I thought I would do now is just close this video out with a few comments comparing the two blankets together. All right, let's see if we can wrap this video up with a few closing comments for the Thermagic Winter Blanket from Olife. So, you know, throughout this video, I've been comparing it against the Rumpel Original Puffy Blanket for the obvious reasons they have so much in common. So much in common with one exception, and that is the price. The Rumpel is considerably more expensive than the Thermagic is, and I guess the question is, is it that much better? Well, I have compared both of these blankets side by side and have had both of them for some time now, so here is what I can tell you. The Rumpel does have more insulation, 25% more insulation in it than does the Thermajig. Same type of insulation, just a little bit more. The Rumpel does use what should be a bit, bit of a better nylon shell on it. It is the ripstop version of the nylon, but how much better and how much more durable it is, well, only time will tell there. Beyond that, the details that make them different are so minor in nature. What is so similar, though, is the quality of construction. They are very well-made blankets. I went over both of them from seam to seam and along the edges, and I could not find fault with either of these two blankets. So it, the quality of construction is uh, not a factor. The Rumpel is an American company. However, its blanket is made in China, as is the Olife Thermajig. So they have that in common as well. I guess at the end of the day, the decision about which is the better blanket for you will be up to you. I will tell you that Rumpel has a lot more choices going for it in terms of colors and sizes and designs and materials than does Olife. But if you're just looking for a very basic blanket with just enough insulation and 
you don't mind having only two choices in colors and designs, then you may want to look at the Thermajig. Okay, if you have any questions about either of these blankets, please put them in the, co question, in the comment section below. I will be putting all of the information I have for these, this blanket, the Thermajig, in the video description. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less traveled because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.